Hello, my name is Jesse, and today I'm going to show you the fastest way I know how to make stickers. I make a lot of stickers, and that's mainly what I sell at Artist Alley, uh, Comic Cons, Anime Expos type stuff. Um, if you're wondering how to do that, I'm going to show you guys. If you have a Cricut, this one's for Cricut, you need this kind of stuff. Uh, you can make these with just paper and pencils and scissors and tape, but, um, but for this video, it's going to be the Cricut laminate and what sticker paper I use. So I get this question a lot. Everybody asks me all the time in my comments. Everybody DMs me on Instagram. How do you make stickers? So stay tuned for that. And I'm trying to make this as quick as I can. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to remember as many things as I can that I don't, I don't want to forget, but I want it to be short because I know a lot of like tutorials are just like, I'm, sh I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I just keep talking. Let's go. Let's start it. All right, let's try this again. So you want to make stickers. The first thing you're going to need is a printer. You need a printer. Uh, you draw them on sticker paper and you don't need a printer, but if you want some decent ones, you might need a printer. So this is a printer I got. Everybody recommends this printer. I had it before. Didn't really like it. Then I saw some tutorials and I went on for another 10 minutes. I'm just going to cut out me yep. And so next part, the first thing you're going to need is your sticker design. I use Photoshop Clip Studio Procreate right here. I'm using Photoshop. I'm making a Dr. Doom corner box, like a classic little corner box. Okay. I'm talking too much. I'm making a sticker design. Make your sticker design in whatever program you want on paper, whatever. Scan it. Okay, let's get on to the next part. All right, once I'm done with my sticker design, I'm going to remove the gray background. And I'm just going to export it as a PNG. That's it. That's all I need. I just need a PNG. No background. Export. PNG. So after you finish the sticker design, we're going to go over to your computer. We're going to open up Cricut. You guys not open up Cricut, right? You guys use Cricut. Okay, so I open up Cricut, and the first thing I'm going to do is click on New Project. Okay, you're gonna have something like this. You need a guideline, which is something I hate doing, but you need to have like a shape. So you click on the shapes tab, get the square, the square's just gonna pop in and you need to make sure the little lock at the top for the size is unchecked. And you're gonna make the first digit you type in is 6.75 for the width and then 9.25 for the height. And that'll give you a perfect little guideline so your stickers don't go out of bounds and Cricut doesn't break and it won't print them for you. That's gonna be your guideline. All your stickers have to fit in this guideline in order for it to work with Cricut. It's stupid, I know it's stupid. So that, we have that open, and then we're gonna go to upload on the left side right here. And you're gonna find your image, you're gonna upload, and browse, and then I have my sticker right here, the Doom Corner box. Okay, you're gonna click continue, apply, and continue, and then flat graphic, continue, and jump. I don't know why it takes long sometimes, and then you go to upload. Okay, so when it first uploads, it's going to be huge, right? I usually make my stickers around 3 to 3.5 inches tall. That's like the max I'll go. So this one, I'm going to make sure the size is locked proportions. And on the height, I'm just going to put 3. And to me, that seems kind of small because the width is only 1.2. You just click on it, Control c Control v and then you just drag and drop them, move them over, and fit them all in. So see, we can fit 4 on top. If you want, you could play around with it. You could probably fit more up top, like if I really put them close together. But then you don't want them to overlap each other because then when the cricket cuts, it's going to cut through your stickers. I could probably, and I can't. Okay, so after I have all four of those, I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to click on all four of them. Control C, Control V. And then I'll have that row. So I'm just going to click on one. Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to rotate it. 90 degrees. Oh yeah, I could probably fit like, damn, I can only fit one more. Okay, so I have eight stickers, and then I have these extra stickers that are like, these are like my freebies, because I have this room down here I cannot fit more stickers in, so I'm gonna put these at the very bottom, and those are gonna be my freebie stickers. So whenever you have extra space, and you don't know what to fill it in, don't. I just make like the sticker small, like a, I'll just make the sticker smaller, or I'll make like a freebie design and I'll throw that in there so I'm not wasting your sticker paper. So after you have all this, okay, you have your design, you have your freebies, whatever you're printing on there. You wanna make sure everything fits within the guideline, right? You don't want anything coming off, because if it's off, uh, click it stupid, it'll mess up. I hate, I hate, I kinda hate it. I kinda don't like it, but I have to fight with it a lot. Anyways, okay, you're gonna turn off your square. You're gonna press the little eyeball. Okay, square's gone. Highlight everything. And then you're gonna right click and click attach. That's it. Now this is a one file. Boom, good. Then you're gonna click on make. After you click on make, you're gonna have this. You're gonna go to continue and you're gonna send it to your printer. Let's talk about paper real quick. Hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, paper. The joy is a premium matte 
sticker paper. I, I've tried so many and everybody's like, oh, online labels is probably the best. I would love to try online labels, but with the price per sheet, this one was like 10 to $12 for 25 sheets, which to me, that's a steal, I feel like. And the stickers come out, to me, honestly, like, I've had, I had this, this same sticker, I had it on my water bottle for like a year and a half and I would wash it and nothing, it was fine, perfectly fine. But anyways, another thing, I love the matte sticker paper because I love matte stickers, but the hardest thing to find is matte laminate. I cannot find matte laminate anywhere. And I saw a few people in their videos talk about their matte laminate stickers and they just didn't show where they got the sticker laminate from. So I was like, ah, if I find it, I'll show you guys. But for right now, I'm using this Avery stuff. 50 pack, I think this was like $20, which is, to me, that sounds like a good deal. So we're gonna use this one today. So after you have your sticker paper, your laminate, you don't need this stuff when you're first starting. I, I, when I first started, I had like some janky sticker paper and I just like drew on them and put the tape on it and cut it out myself. But this, if you have a Cricut and all that, I would say these are like your next step up, all right? So once you have this stuff, we're gonna print now. All right, so you're gonna get your sticker paper and there's two sides. One side's like matte and the other side's kind of like a frosted look, like it's like smoother, I guess. You, you'll know when you see it, like the, the matte side's super white. All right, I'm gonna load it in. Boom. Okay, we close it. And on the printer, I don't know what printer you have, but I have this Epson. Uh, I have to change the paper type like every time, which is stupid. I'm, I, put, I put it on glossy paper because it just, it comes out more crispier looking than when I put it on matte paper. Even though we're using matte paper, for some reason when I put it on glossy, it just comes out more high definition. All right, let's go back to Cricut. All right, we're back at Cricut. It's saying something like, my cr oh, my Cricut's not on, duh, turn your Cricut on first. Cricut's on, we're gonna click send a printer. Uh, choose your printer, obviously. This is like obvious stuff, I guess. Where it says add bleed, make sure that's unchecked. And then where it says use system dialog, make sure that is checked. And then click next. You have to do that so you can change the settings and make a more custom to your printer. And then for me, this opens, I click on preferences. The Epson has a bunch of settings. I just go and turn the plain paper type. I just put that on photo paper glossy quality high it's gonna take forever to print but um when your paper picked out you're just gonna click okay you're gonna click print that's easy that's how it's done and then to go to the printer but this is what i was talking about it makes like guidelines on the paper i feel like those guidelines could be out more i kind of get why they're not but i feel like it can give you a little bit more room oh, man let's see how long this takes to print so here's something that happens with my matte sticker paper i don't know if this happens to you, I figured it out. You open up your device properties where your printer's at, and then you find your printer, you click on it, you click manage, and you go to printer properties, and then you click on preferences, and this little window will pop up, and you're gonna click on maintenance, and you click on that little one I'm hovering over right there, and you're gonna change the print density to like, I did it to like two, I think. I'll just play around with it, try one, try two, and you click okay, and then the next time you print something, it should be fine and dandy. Okay, so I went ahead and printed another one, but I, but I fixed the print density to one, so I didn't get the little splash anymore. So now my printer knows my paper is a little bit thicker than regular printer paper, and I'm gonna laminate this now. So I have a sheet of my Avery laminate. I'm gonna slide this over. I use this little cutter thing. You don't need this. You can use like a scissors or exacto knife or something. Like that. But I'm basically gonna line this up. Make sure the part that says peel is at the top. I'm gonna line this up with the guideline right here, like this. And then I'm gonna get this one and I'm gonna see like, oh, okay, I can see. And then you could kind of see the transparency, how it looks see-through. So I'm gonna put a guideline right there, like right on that. And then the same thing for the top, like that. I'm gonna move this out the way, bring this over here. Cut off that bottom piece. I save these, I don't know what I would use them for, but I save them, maybe bookmarks or something. So we have this. I'm gonna peel off the top part, boom. Bring in the sticker paper, and then I'm gonna line this up the best that I can. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't I don't think it needs to be perfect. But you want to be in the guidelines as much as you can. And then and I use this thing that came with my iPad screen protector to put it on. Um, it's like kind of like a clothing material. I feel like it's not too soft, but it's like, okay. So what I do is I kind of peel the white paper off a little bit. Like be careful because you want to peel the sticker just so it has like a, a way to sit flush on the paper. And you're gonna kind of put your squeegee under. This part took me the longest to figure out. 
you're gonna put your squeegee underneath and kind of like gently push, but like firmly press. Does that make sense? You're gonna squeegee that out. Okay, and you're gonna notice it looks kind of foggy when you first do it. That just means you have to like push out all the air bubbles and it'll get like dark. So your darks will get darker. So just do that. If you notice, this one's kind of like gray. This one's a little bit darker. I'm gonna go over it a few more times and we're gonna cut. Next step, get your little Cricut paper, your little sticky paper. Slap that on there. Everybody knows this. You know how to do this. If you're using a Cricut already, you know how to do this. And then we're gonna slap it on the Cricut now. Let's go. Okay, so I have a custom cut setting. And I call it sticker new just so I remember it. So if you want this exact setting, you go to browse all settings, click on material settings, and then you scroll down. And I don't know why they do this. We have to go all the way to the bottom to make a new setting. So you click add new material. Once you add a new material, just put the pressure all the way to 350. That's how I have mine. And then that's it. And then you just save it. So once you save it, you're gonna click on sticker new or whatever you name it. Make sure the pressure is 350. And then you can go to default pressure, put it on more. I always put it on more because it's laminated and you want it to cut all the way through. All right, we're done. Cookies are out the oven. Here's what we got and then we just Peel this away. Look at, let's just grab one for now. Oh, 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 that one's coming off already. So I noticed mines didn't come out as bright as I wanted them to. I mean, they're kind of dark, these ones. It's just a trial and error thing. You're gonna have to like figure out the right paper. You're gonna have to try to figure out the right paper settings, like right settings on your printer and then the right settings on your Cricut in order to get like more brighter images. But this one I made last night and I did like the basic settings and they actually came out brighter. This one I was trying out different paper settings. So I think I'm gonna go back to this one, what I use for these and and make some more of these with this setting. But I like them, they just didn't come out as bright as I thought they were, but that's fine. They're cool, I love them, I love them still. Okay, so that's how I make stickers. Me, there's probably like a million other ways to do it, but this is the way that I found that's kind of like in my workflow already i might change some things up in the future but uh i like the way those ones came out they came out pretty cool but this is the paper the joyeza hopefully they reach out and are like hey i'll give you some free sticker paper now for making that video that'd be cool uh, and then we got the avery um self laminate stuff i'll put those links down in my description if you want to grab those if you have any questions listen i go into comment sections and I, i'm asking questions and on videos that are like a year old and i never get replies so i'm like i'm gonna try to keep this comment section going as long as i can so if you comment and this is, you're watching this video a year from now i'm gonna try to reply i promise but uh, yeah if this helped you please comment and let me know i try to make this video as short as i could hopefully it was straight to the point hopefully you didn't run into too many problems i know whenever i watch a tutorial and i run into a problem and then nobody else is having that problem and then you don't know how to figure it out so hopefully you didn't run into any but if you did go ahead and comment and let me know but anyways uh yeah my name is jesse thank you for watching um if you want to join the sticker club on the patreon every month we have a new sticker but yeah if you want to join the patreon that's going to be the next month's that's going to be the sticker we're shipping those out next week and i'm thinking i'm gonna throw the uh sonic one in there too maybe as an extra little bonus. i don't know anyways uh, thanks for watching peace out uh if you guys are new here you guys know i don't stop talking until the video stops until i stop recording and i will never shut up